Let's try to understand on how can we achieve the authorization in our application which we have seen for authentication. Here you see these two REST APIs are public and hence instead of adding the permit all or any other annotation over here, what I have done is I have added the configuration within the security filter chain itself for these two REST APIs saying that these two REST APIs are accessed by all. This is because these two are being exempted by the authentication itself and not the authorization. For other APIs, you see to create a restaurant, we needed a role of admin and hence we have added this pre-authorization for having a role of admin. Similarly for this REST API as well, we will test on this API which is to update the price of specific item and having a role of owner. And since we are using JWT, we need this configuration property for authentication. If we go to our security config here, you might have seen that instead of having this customizer with defaults, we are extracting the configurations within the JWT and overriding the default authentication converter to our own authentication converter. We have written our own authentication converter here, this one, this. I have defined it as a component and I am auto wiring it here and just adding it to the default configurations. In a sense, whenever an access token is received from the requester, instead of calling the default authentication converter, our own authentication converter is called. Here, if you see what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get all the roles from the incoming access token. The reason I have added here ream access and roles, let's see that the key clocks access token has the roles within the ream roles property. Here within the ream roles property, we have another property called roles and this roles property has an array of string and those are our actual roles which are assigned to the user called Suresh. Basically, we need to extract our roles, these roles from these properties. So that is what we are doing in the code. You see here from this JWT, we are getting the claim with name ream access. And from this ream access, we are getting the values of roles. And these are the array of string. And for each of these strings, we are creating a granted authority of roles. One thing you can see here is I am prepending role underscore for each of the roles which have been defined. We'll see that in a while and also how can we get rid of this. Let's test this. Let me start the application. We have also created other users apart from Sagar. We have created admin user and Amar. Suresh Amar is the owner since we have created the roles for these as well saying a manager role, owner role and admin role. These were the roles which we needed. For Amar we have assigned owner and for Suresh we have assigned manager and since our API needs the role of owner, we need the token for Amar. Let's generate a token for Amar. Amar and use this token for this REST API, updating the item. Here, if you see, this is the item ID and the price. How did we get the item ID? Using this REST API. From the list for this restaurant, we have these items and this is the item for which I want to update the value or the price. So that's the reason we have this two. This two is the item ID and instead of value 150, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a value of 170. 
and request so this token was let's see was this amar and since amar is the owner the values were updated 170 let's just check that out here it is 150 and 170 let's see a negative case where in suresh tries to access or update the price of the item here so suresh doesn't have the access because only the owner can update the price if you see here amar has a role of owner and that's the reason he was able to update the price and suresh has the role of manager and not owner and that's the reason suresh was not able to update the price we saw that there is a property here which is being prepended for each of those roles i do not want to do this i just want to say that whatever the default role which i have defined the same names should be given so for that what we need to do is and one more thing here is we have enabled this method security because we are validating on the method level authorization this value is being picked from a class called default method security handler and to get rid of that what i want to do is i will create a bean of that object default method security expression handler what i'm doing here is i am creating an object for that and I am overriding this default role prefix. If you see what is the default value for this here, role underscore, and that was the reason we added this prepend. And if I am overriding the bean and setting this, I no longer need this. I will just delete here and save. Let's restart the application. execute it says forbidden because this token is still belonging to suresh you see let's generate token for amar and there you go so basically what we did here is we defined our own JWT auth converter and we extracted the roles from the incoming token which is given by the key cloak and then created a JWT authentication token using our roles. But I am a lazy guy and I do not want to do all this stuff. In a sense, I don't want to write this class and i don't want to do this injection and i don't want to override what i want to do is i want to use the default configurations itself can we do that let's see in the next video so thanks for watching